Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. It has been over three years since I last made a video about Ray Zero. Three years. That is a very, very long time. So the last time I made a video about Ray Zero, Season 2, Episode 25, was March 24th of 2021. That just baffles me that it has been that long since I talked about Ray Zero. And just going back and looking through some of the reviews, I was angry because a lot of Ray Zero is very, very frustrating. And it makes you angry and annoyed because it takes like 20 episodes to move one step up the ladder and the ladder is 150 steps. So I think that is why I was just so angry at Ray Zero. And in all honesty, I was not looking forward to watching this. So I was doing a bunch of videos because I'm trying to catch up with some stuff here. You know, I have a Bleach short that is, that's going to be coming out this Thursday. Um, Ray Zero Episode 2 is going to be coming out tomorrow. I'm filming this several days, I think, past Ray Z the first episode of Ray Zero coming out. But uh, I know it's going to be every Wednesday we're going to get a Ray Zero episode. I hope every episode is not an hour and a half long. That is right, episode one, if you've already watched it at this point, was an hour and 30 minutes when the average anime episode is about 23 minutes. And you got to figure it's actually 20 minutes because a minute and a half is the intro, a minute and a half is the outro. So the average anime episode is 20 minutes long. So that means that in one hour, you get about three episodes. So we essentially got four episodes in 10 minutes. So four and a half episodes of Ray Zero. And nothing happened till the very, very end of it, which made me remember why I liked Ray Zero in the first place. A friend introduced to me to this right before season two started, I think, because I don't believe I reviewed season one. I think I watched season one um, and then... Uh, picked it up where season two was because season two is maybe a couple episodes deep by the time I started reviewing it. I honestly don't remember. It's been three years <laughs> yet again, three years, very, very long time. So there's a lot of talking, a lot of nothing going on. Uh, we want to go after the art, art bishop gluttony because obviously he is the one that took Rem, uh, and one of the other princess's memories and then Rem's name as well. Uh, we end up in the clip, running into the Archbishop of Wrath, uh, which it seems like her abilities are to make everybody awesome and full of joy, and then somehow she mind controls everybody, and by killing one person, she kills an entire crowd. And then Subaru woke up. So that was kind of crazy. At the end, I was not expecting that, being that it just seemed like an hour and a half of happy-go-lucky chatter, nothing really going on. Um... Reinhardt, we get to see his, uh, we, we realize that, um, that the one great old swordsman is his grandfather, and then we get to see his father as well, so there's definitely a lot more to that backstory that we aren't hearing, um, you know, he got to avenge his, uh, wife's death, so Reinhardt's grandmother, I'm trying to remember the swordsman name, I can't, off the top of my head, trying to remember all these characters, um, Subaru and Beatrice have a pact going on, and it's kind of cute watching them together doing cutesy things. It's kind of like, uh, you know, like a dad and his kid. That's basically how he's, <laughs> how he's interacting with Beatrice to a certain extent. Uh, of course, she's got the big old crush on Amelia as well, and then we kind of get reintroduced to a bunch of other characters. The thing I don't understand is, was there like a recap episode? Um, I mean, there was like four episodes of My Hero Academia that I didn't realize happened, um, that they're counting as like part of season seven, which I had no idea that was a thing. I guess it was its own separate thing. Um, but this could have really been useful to have a recap. There's a lot of things that happened in this hour and a half that didn't need to be there. Just random stuff, unnecessary filler things, if you will. Uh, and we could have really taken at least the first 10 minutes, or, you know, if you want to keep all of it, that's fine. Make it another 10 minutes long and just give us a quick little recap of what the heck has happened thus far. We get a little bit of it with talking about the whale and the rabbit and, you know, things along those lines. 
But uh, ultimately, we didn't really get any recap whatsoever. And I think that would have been very useful, at least not in the first episode. As I said, if there was like a separate thing that was a recap, let me know. But I was not aware of one at all. So, you know, I guess that that is what it is um, with that information. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be short videos. So I did initially do a full 10 minute long review of Ray Zero, but I think we're going to make the shorts just for, for the time being anyway, until I can catch up on everything. And then maybe if there's one episode I really like, I will do the full 10 minute length video. Um, but I think I might just be sticking with shorts for right now, uh, minus My Hero Academia, which there's only, you know, one episode left of that anyway. So, um, this, this might be the new style and maybe some memes here and there if I feel the need to do so. But, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get some Kite Man here and there, uh, when I get around to watching the other episodes. Today, I did not have that chance, so maybe during the week I'll grab a Kite Man episode or two and do a couple of short videos on it. Um, Ray Zero is going to be a short video on Wednesday, uh, and then moving forward, Bleach will eventually be on Saturdays, and then Tower of God will continue to be on Sundays, so I think three videos typically is what's going to happen, just in terms of the schedule, for those of you that are watching consistently, greatly appreciated by the way. Um, but I think that's what's going to happen is we'll have about three videos and then a random Kite Man video here and there. And then maybe I'll get caught up at some point on the Rick and Morty anime. May or may not do that as well. I've been thinking about doing that because I do, I have done, you know, several seasons of Rick and Morty at this point, but, um, haven't watched a single episode yet of the anime because it airs super late on TV. So, um, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still rocking the cable. <laughs> just for a reference um it airs too late and i never catch it so sometimes maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do a marathon i can catch up on some reruns or i'll find it somewhere but um adultswim.com or something i'll figure it out but uh yeah hour and a half nothing really happened to the end and then i was like oh my god the ending ah kind of cutesy stuff going on the entire time and then we get to the end and it, it, it reminded me why i like ray zero but also why i'm extremely frustrated with ray zero uh, so I'm sure you will see me go up and down in terms of emotions throughout the season. And I'm assuming we're getting 25 episodes like we did last season. And hopefully it'll only be a year break in between seasons because three years, three years, that that's like doing some attack on Titan stuff. I think between season was it between season two and three or one and two. I know there was a huge gap. And, um, it, it's, you just get to a certain point, people forget about it. You know, you talk about it while it's there. I think the manga is still ongoing, so maybe that was part of the issue, too, is, um, they didn't want to get too caught up with the manga, because then, you know, the anime is just sitting there waiting. Um, that, that I think that's part of the issue with, uh, something like Made in the Abyss. I did, why, why, that was something I watched, but, uh, essentially the anime got caught up to where the manga was, because I think that author doesn't release the manga that often so it's going to be like forever before we get a season two of that and a lot of people loved made in the <laughs> made in the abyss too also equally as crazy but uh, i guess this is turning into a longer video but it was an hour and a half so you know what are you going to do but uh, expect these videos to be a bit shorter with a clip at the beginning of it followed by talking about the clip talking about the general episode uh, things along those lines. So until next time, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And as always, have a good one.